This is the simplest tool people have used for hundreds and thousands of years. Now in our case, we have three pieces of wood, six foot piece of two by two here and here, and a four foot piece going across the center. The top is attached by just a, a bolt running through, drilled holes there about one inch from the end of the one by two, and then measured down about four feet and put in another one here and another one on the other side and attach the cross piece. If you keep your measurements equal and you try to be exacting as possible, you'll get close to having a pretty square A-frame to start with. But you still need to calibrate it with the string. So we've tied a string on the center and this comes all the way down and then we have a weight at the bottom. This is just a heavy sinker, like a fishing sinker. Had here, but you can put a stone, you can put a screwdriver, anything you want to hold the weight down on the line. Now we have here just some general yellow string, but you could use a fishing line, twine. The thing you want to keep in mind though is that like even on a day like today where it's windy, there's a little bit of a breeze, that's going to blow that string around and make it harder to find your level spot. So the thread works really great or even some fishing line that's very, very thin and it's not going to catch the wind and it's not going to cause you that uh, weight to swing back and forth and take so long to find your level. So two six foot pieces of wood, three three eighths inch bolts, about two inch bolts to bolt these together. These are 48 inches down from there, 48 inches down to the other side and bolt the cross piece together. That's drilled through, again, one inch from either end of a 48 inch piece of wood. And that gets us pretty close to where we want to be. Now to check our level without having an actual bubble level to go across here, which we could do, we're going to put two stones on the ground right here and right there. These stones are setting it so we make sure that each side of this lands in the same spot. So we take our stones, put them at the end, and then let the string kind of settle in to find out straight down. Once that's settled in as to where it's straight, grab a pencil, grab a pen, lean it back, and mark that spot. Now, that's the one side. Now, since we don't know whether this is level or not, we're going to spin the A-frame and put another line. Now we know that the A-frame is in the exact same spot. And we swing it back. Let the line just come straight back and forth. You can tell it's, it's kind of rested. Let the line lean up against the post a little bit so it can, can stop swinging. Trim it back until you find it. Then put your next line. Now these lines are about a quarter inch difference. So, this was a quarter inch off one way, about an eighth inch off one way, an eighth inch off the other way. We have a basically a quarter inch space. So our dead level center is going to be right in the middle of those two lines. That's where we'll take our Sharpie or make our dead level line on the crossbar. That means wherever these line, these, uh, excuse me, these ends match level across the contour on the landscape, this string will line up here and that's how we put our flags in. Then when you use this on the landscape, you'll rotate it also. We'll do the one uh, flag on one end, find level with the string that matches up our line here on the crossbar, put another flag, and then leave that foot there and rotate to the next one. That way, any kind of error that we still have will be canceled out by the fact that we're turning it each time we put a flag in across the contour. And that will give us a perfectly level contour line across the landscape for our swales, for our paths, whatever purpose we have that we need a dev level contour uh, on the hill.